Hello everyone, welcome back to the Arm Shape for FTC mini series. In the second video, we went over the basic sketching tools, and today we'll be covering more tools. And first, we'll go over inscribe and circumscribe polygons. Inscribe polygons will be outside of a circle, and circumscribe polygons will be inside of a circle. Select the tool, and you can use your keyboard or move in and out from the polygon to increase and decrease the number of sides. Increased polygons can be useful if you have a drawing that tells you the flat to flat distance. For example, this nut right here, it has a flat to flat distance of 7. So if you want to make a cutout for the nut, you can just set the diameter of the circle to 7. Next up is the spine tool. Click to establish point and double click to end. And you can drag any points to adjust it. The next thing we will learn is the construction tool. Construction geometry helps you construct your sketch but is ignored when creating a feature. So to create a construction geometry, select the sketch, then click the construction icon in the toolbar or the keyboard shortcut Q. So, and then I click Q like this. So, after selecting the construction option, uh, the sketch entity created will be construction lines and then it will be dash lines or arcs to convert solid geometry to construction or the other way around you can select you can select certain sketch entities and use the keyboard shortcut Q and next we have linear pattern so let me create a circle right here select the sketch entity to pattern and then click the tool here and then you can double click to specify the distance between the uh, entities and uh, double click the number right here to change the amount the number of instances in the pattern you can also drag the arrow to change the direction that it goes or the angle. Linear pattern can be very useful to generate a grid pattern for your drivetrain's inner plate, like this. Let me, let me clean this up a little bit. Right next to the linear pattern is the circular pattern. Select the sketch entity to pattern and then click the tool. So, here. I can double click to specify the angle of the pattern or the number of instances in the pattern. Can also, you can also drag the midpoint to relocate the center. Then you have the trim tool and the extend tool. The trim tool will trim a curve to its first intersecting point or bounding geometry. If no intersection or bounding geometry is found, then the entire curve is deleted. So, you can do this. Okay. This. And 
and the extend tool will extend a line to the first intersecting point of bounding geometry. So extend. The mirror tool will create the reflection of one or more sketch entities about a specified line. So mirror tool this and then I can select the entities and then it will mirror over the middle line. Um, the last tool we'll go over is offset and offset will offset the selected curve or loop at a spe specified distance and direction from the original uh, shape and click the tool or press the keyboard shortcut O and you can choose more than one thing to offset but it must be chained you can double click right here and then change the offset distance Here's a challenge to try yourself. And this is the end for this video. In the next video, I'll go over how to make this sketch and some feature tools. See you next time.